In today's episode, once again, we're looking towards the Seleucid Hordes that continue to march upon our lands. Can we beat any of these armies at all? Can we siege down any Seleucid provinces? And can we really put a dent in this Seleucid Horde? I have no idea, but stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are back with another RTR Imperium so Rectum campaign video as Epirus. Yes, last time we fought the Seleucid Hordes a couple of times and we did unfortunately lose Tirida over here. And of course, Ipazion the Ugly. I guess that's what you get for having a face that was smacked. By a sledgehammer at birth, unfortunately for him. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say sorry, guys, for the lack of content recently. Uh, I have been moving house, so I've only just got Wi-Fi back today when I have been recording this. And obviously been very, very busy with everything that goes with moving houses in this day and age. So yeah, I am sorry about that. But don't worry, next week when we come back, when I am back after a weekend away, after moving house, so even less time because I normally record at the weekends, um, I will be back on it and we will have more challenge videos for you, more videos like that. So without further ado, let's get playing. We do have this army led by Archilochus over here. We have Ifestionas over here. This is more to remind me of what's going on. I have had a look around, but yeah, I need to remind myself fully of what's happening. We are getting another army together. Captain Ipacion. Um, <laughs> Interesting name you've got there, my friend. Um, maybe Ipacion escaped and he's been degraded down to captain. Uh, but I doubt that. And we also have the Siege of Sparta, which I think is something that we do want to do. ASAP. So we are going to start off the episode with a cheeky little siege at Sparta. And I cannot wait. The siege of Sparta. How much more iconic can you get? It's a pretty darn damaged army. So let's see what we can do, guys. Let's get into the battle. If you can smell something ripe, that's your enemy. Yeah, Spartans, that's obviously. Yes, a very good Alexander, our legendary commander. He's fought in the north and the south. We have siege engines today as well. And of course, we are not going to take the siege engines with those boys. <laughs> Why would we get Valangites up on the siege engines? Now, we only have one Thurio Foroi, so that's a little bit crap for them. But we're going to get a siege engine over there. We're also going to try and get our archers up on the walls as usual. So, like I say, we'll get the archers on the walls and let's see whether we can fight this army in the streets. So, it seems like we're going to have not much fun getting any purchase on the walls whatsoever. Unfortunately, I did get these guys up here. I've tried to get them down. These guys apparently just don't want to get up the walls. These guys are going to come up, but mostly this is just... To kind of hold these men over here. And then we can open the gates. Get in the city. Unfortunately, the 304 are taking forever. Luckily, these guys are here. So we may even have to go around that way. There isn't that much that is really that scary. Apart from the general's bodyguards. Of course, like we've seen. But I think it's going to be a lot bloodier than we first did expect. Come on, guys. Just get up on the walls. These guys are going to die. They're fighting Homoyoi, which are one of the best units. That the Spartans have to offer. So really not ideal over here. But let's see if we can get some purchase at least. And see what we can do. So as you can see we are having major issues holding these guys on the walls. So we're going to sacrifice this 304 over here to fight the Homoyoi. Which are going to just marmalize it completely. Uh, and then we're also going to get the Athamanians here to fire down. And we're just going to come around this flank here. Which you can see... They only have one little homoyoi unit protecting. Hopefully we can get that tower soon so we don't take as much damage as we otherwise would. We're also going to get the archers there so they can fire down this line at the slingers. We do have these Athamanians who just gave up on uh, getting the uh, 
getting the ladders up there. So we're going to bring them up the walls there to hold the homoyoi. And as you can see, this is not the best place to come into the city. There's not many ways in which to get into the town square. But there isn't a huge amount of people on the town square either, which is another thing. So, yeah, we've got these guys. How are you dying, by the way? Who are you getting shot by? Maybe they're Helot Slingers. These guys are firing now. So once they've fired all their javies off, we're going to get them up to just hold this unit, really. Like, I know the 304 are going to die. So that's fine. I'm also going to try and bring you along here. So maybe you can fire down at the Cryptea there, which are their trash units. These guys are going to get a little tired, unfortunately. But it should be okay. We've taken most of the towers now, too. So I think we're just going to get the men through the city gates. Thinking we're going to send all the cavalry around that way. Try and sweep into the town square that way. And yeah, it's mainly just holding off these guys. I don't want to have to fight them on the town square. We may run out of time if that is the case. Which would be a bit of a nightmare. You guys hold. There we go. And now you should fire at the crypt here and kill them pretty darn easily. You guys get up there too. Go on, boys. These guys are just taking a battering. I don't know how, who is killing them so well. These goddamn 12 Helot Slingers should not be killing them that well. There we go. Luckily, we can uh, kill them. There we go. Fantastic. They're not enjoying... Oh, hello. I did not realize that there was a homoyoi here. You guys kill them then. That's easy mode. Let's go kill them all. I'm tempted just to use the cavalry for the rest of this, but... Unfortunately, we haven't taken all of those towers. So, what I might do with you is try and run you all the way around. I don't think that's going to be the best option for us. But, then again, we've got rid of the homoyoi. So, for now, you guys just stand there out of the way. Go, go, go. Get out of the way. You're going to knock a few men, I think, in on the way there. But now these guys are all sort of in the city. We can get the phalanx mode down. You guys get there if you can. And the ones next to you, who are all just messed up now, can get there. And we also have all of these towers now. So they should be firing down there at the Perioikoi Hoplites. There we go. Very nice indeed. I mean, we've taken not quite that tower yet. You guys should come through and take it. And go all the way over there. And we've taken this one. So I think it's only this one that we haven't taken. So bringing the cavalry around this way would not be too bad. In fact, it'd probably be quite good. Okay, they are bringing troops this way. What the hell are you guys doing? Like, please, don't do that. It's kind of dumb. It's not really worth it, my friends. And shall we get a little contingent over this way? I think we shall. A little bit tired now, but they're going to have to keep they're going to have to keep fighting and they're going to have to go fast. Otherwise, we definitely will run out of time in this battle, which is not ideal. We have also taken that tower, so we don't need to worry about it. Those, Both of those towers, actually. Fantastic. So, yeah. We are still fighting. But we are not going to win this fight. They are just there to hold those really good units from the enemy. There we go. Enjoy that. Enjoy fighting the phalanx. Now, they are off guard mode. So what I'm going to do is going to press the attack mode. Thank you to the tips from everyone. The problem I find with this, though, is, like, they do this, but it seems like they do do very good without guard mode on in terms of actually attacking rather than just waiting. Uh, so that's one good thing. But we are pretty much running rampant in the city now. So let's get through to the Spartan Cavalry if we can. These guys are going to be a little bit slower. Unfortunately, we have no sort of missile troops anymore that can help us out here. To try and get people off the town square. But it's okay. It's okay. We're just going to have to try and hold units off the town square. You guys going to attack them as well then. There we go. Cavalry should not be a problem here. Let's go. And let's come back when we have maneuvered a little bit more. So here come a load of their hoplites. Let's try and get them killed. Can you guys like stay in phalanx mode? This is why I don't... There we go. That's better. That's a lot better. This should absolutely scythe through them, as you can see, without guard mode on. 
Halt them just for a second. There we go. Just so they hold that formation slightly better. We do also have these guys. We've got Perioikoi Hoplites. We're going to just pop down this way for a little bit. In fact, what we're going to do, get three of you down here just in case. So we've got a little bit of an encirclement going on if we need to. These guys are just making their way. They've taken a bit of damage from the towers, but that should be okay. We've got plenty of backup troops here to deal with those guys on the walls. So, yeah, now we've just got to kill this Spartan Homoyoi. We've already... Oh, we've savaged that poor unit. There we go. This should be a lot better. There we go. Kill the Homoyoi. Very nice indeed. That's what we like to see, boys, isn't it? That is what we like to see. That's a bit of a formation disaster, but... Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Well, these Homoyoi are very, very tough indeed. But I think there's no escape for them now, guys. What do you think? Up against the wall. There we go, guys. Kill them all up against the wall. There we go. Let's get these guys reset so they're actually facing the right way now. That would be ideal if you would get there, guys. Please. Very good. And there comes some Perioikoi Hoplites. These guys are in a triple bristle wall. The triple hedgehog. Very scary for anyone to go against. Um, and we've got a cavalry ready to come round the other, other side if they need to. I mean, those two Perioikoi Hoplites are not going to do enough damage for us to worry about them. Very nice. There we go, guys. Get your attack order in, and let's see how they do against these boys. They bull they seem to bulge out like this and then get their phalanx down. Can you put your phalanx down, please? You are supposed to be in phalanx formation. There we go. Now attack. No? Phalanx, please. Some of them want to phalanx. Some don't. Come on, guys. You know you want to, because otherwise you're, you are useless. Without your phalanx, you are useless. There we go. That's better. You guys can hold while these guys actually have an attack order. That should be a good little uh, mix of abilities there. Now all we have to do is kill three Spartan Generals bodyguards. <laughs> That's one reason why I don't want to do this on the town square. Because, goddamn, they're going to be very, very annoying. Also, maneuvering this cavalry inside the city is an absolute nightmare, as you can probably tell. <laughs> Look at these lines. Like, go on, boys. Get in there. <laughs> and the charges are just are just worth nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> but here we go. Doing all right down here. Well, I thought we were. Deuteroy doing okay. They've all got their phalanx out, it looks like. Both sides have. So that should be pretty good. We've got to do this quickly, though. So whatever happens, we've got to do it quickly. So what I'm going to try and do... If we can push them off the town square, that would be amazing. These guys have not even seen action yet. I don't care about that general's bodyguard. There's only three of them. As long as we stop them ever coming back on the town square, that would be amazing. So let's go. Although we did see in our last episode how quickly some of these like phalanxes can crumble down here. Go, guys, go. And you guys, you guys deal with them. Just just attack. Stop. Like, let these guys get to their positions. And we shall come back through. Looks like the, uh, the Homoyoi have managed to get back through. And we've also got another unit behind us now. So we need to push through these guys. Come on, guys. Push, push, push. Well, once that general's dead, what I'm going to do is stick these guys there. So, in fact, let's leave him. It's a single man. Revealed himself. And we shall come back this way. That should be quite helpful. Oh, God damn it. We are stuck between a rock and a hard place a little bit here. But hopefully, once he's dead, we should be good. So, they are coming back now. They are coming back. So, get the phalanx down, boys. Get the phalanx down. That's not the way to get the phalanx down. That's not it. That's not the one, guys. That's not the one. All just standing in a big circle. Not ideal. Right. Now they're both off guard mode. Let's do that. And let's see. Let's make sure they try to phalanx at least. And that should hopefully push all these guys off the town square. Fantastic. There we go. Now you guys. Lots of micro going on. Even on this siege battle. <laughs> Time to fight that homoyoi. Right, these guys have attacked the homo... Oh, it's a Skiritai. That's fantastic. 
Well, let us come through here. If we can maybe get a better formation and try and charge that general's bodyguard in the back. We've got to try and push through as well. Hmm. Spicy little meatballs going on everywhere. Oh, dear. This is this is not ideal. Just keep pushing, guys. Keep pushing. If we can break that Skiritai, we're going to be good. Fighting the Spartan General's Bodyguard. Not the idea we're going for there, my friends. Not the idea we're going for. Push through him. In fact, we're probably worth just doing that. And I think they'll be able to get past no problem. These guys, on the other hand, let's see if we can give them a bit of a charge. We do need some guys on the town square. It's not going to be an ideal charge, but it should hopefully give our guys some lovely hope that they can beat these goddamn Spartans once and for all. I think our best bet at this point is just to get on the town square. So you guys go through there. Is that... That's Eperot. 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 Good. Good. As long as we can hold them off, we're good. Well, that's an interesting formation, I've got to say, guys. This is a problem with leaving them off guard mode. They do some very wacky stuff, but they do seem to kill a lot quicker. Like, look at that. They've already lost 10 in that general's bodyguard, so let's go for another charge. Let's also rally the men. Of course, we don't want to lose great Alexander. There we go. I always hate those sounds. It always makes me think the general has died. There we go. Look at that. Great little charge, actually, especially in city streets. There we go. We'll come back now. They do find it very tough on the city streets. Come on, guys. How long does it take to break these guys? One thing you can say about the Spartans, as barbaric as they are, they uh, <laughs> they sure have some good morale. It says there's 11 of these boys left. Where? Where in... Right, 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 right. Okay. This is it. This is it now. Deuteroy through. You guys off phalanx mode. And let's go, 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 go. Look at this, though. Like, doing this has allowed them to fully flank us. So, I don't know whether that's a good or bad thing. <laughs> Probably a pretty darn bad thing. Now all of these units are coming back. But let's get our one charge off to start with. And then let's uh, get the hell out of dodge. Go, 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 guys. Go. Go. Get out of here. We don't want another general's bodyguards. Up our arse. Up the arse. No, 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 no. Right, you, Deuteroy, you're going to go here because you're exhausted. You're going to go there. This Deuteroy, we're going to get you there straight away. As well as two Ambrakiotes that are fresh. Fresh from their victories. And we shall get this guy to just stand on the town square. So we can try and take it. Or at least actually fight them. And kill them. Come on, guys. Let's go. Attack orders are plenty. Let's keep on rushing down this way. They really do not like pathing this cavalry in these town squares. Uh, sorry, town streets. Well, this guy is down to 10 men. This guy's 20. So we have done some absolute brutal damage. As messy as it looks, we have done some really good damage. Right, guys. This is really annoying that you're doing this, deciding to do this now. But uh, yeah, kill these five. Quick, quick, quick. So we can get back in on the action. Well, here comes more Spartan General's bodyguards. That's not a problem. See, we are very close to taking the town square. There we go. Right. Fresh Ambrakiotes. Get down here, my friends. Fresh Ambrakiotes. Fresh Ambrakiotes for everybody. Glorious. Right, you guys there. We're just going to make sure that when these guys rout, they don't just run straight into the city. That would be quite annoying. In fact, what we'll do is we'll do a big line like this. So we are on the town square. We'll also get you in phalanx mode. Just so that no one retreating can get through. We're going to make another big bristle, bristle line. And we're going to try and push through these guys and just hold them off. That's the main thing. In fact, I'm going to leave one of these units here on guard mode. You two off guard mode. And once you're in position and on ready to phalanx, I mean, you're, you're a bit struggling right now. Phalanx time, boys. And then we're going to go through. You guys that are on guard mode, though, are just going to stay, stay here. These guys will group you together so we know where you are. This unit has taken a battering. In fact, a lot of units have taken a battering in this. 
unfortunately. Do we go for the charge? I think we do. There we go. We'll push them off now. Ah, they keep just... This guy just keeps tipping onto the square. So we're going to kill him. And then we've got to wait three minutes. So I think we speed this up. Let's see if we can wait. Whoa, we did actually break someone then. We broke two of them. Glorious. Oh, we just saw the eyes as well. That was brutal. Kill this homoyoi. And then all we've got to do is wait three minutes. Well, we've got to just kill... That charge was amazing. Glorious, guys. Yes. Sparta is ours. We did inflict more casualties than we lost. Um, <laughs> but that was quite a hefty old battle. Luckily, we have an army right next to us. So we are ready to continue the fight. Let's go, guys. There we go. Glorious Sparta is now ours. And I think, honestly, it's just tipped over 12,000. I think we enslave again. Sparta is now destroyed. Who doesn't love to see a message like that? Especially the Athenians, <laughs> who are not in Athens right now. Sparta in itself is a pretty darn good little city. Problem now is, like, what do we do down here in the south? Do we fully concentrate on the north? I think not. I don't think that's the option at all. What I'm considering doing, though, is coming here with this army. Just in case they do attack. Um, Archilochus is a 16-year-old. So he's not great. We do have Pyrrhos over here. Our faction heir, right? No, it's a different Pyrrhos. This Pyrrhus is our faction heir. <laughs> um, but yeah, this army's taken a little bit of damage, but not much. I mean, how many armies are really here? One, two, three, four, five, six. About seven full stacks. I feel confident against that, I'm not going to lie, with our current armies. So... Let's come back with Alexander. Okay, Alexander's staying there, apparently. No, just Alexander. Apparently, I didn't select everyone. Well, that's darn silly. Let's pop Pyrrhos into here for now. Let's also see what we can maybe build here. Maybe a shrine to Dionysus, just for now. And, yeah, we're going to wait until Pyrrhos is back. And then we're going to mount an attack on Presai. And Argos at exactly the same time. We're also going to gather this army together. And we're going to see what the Seleucids do up here in the north. So, let's just check that. Yeah, we're happy. Good. Right then, guys. We've got 6,000 gold, though. That could maybe be put to use. Got a lot of places building, but I want to build in some of the newer regions. So, like... Wait, Aegeon? Oh, yeah, Aegeon. Sorry. We've got an Aegeon, don't we? <laughs> Uh, make sure all these really upset places are building. I saw a couple of them. So, Imbros, for example, although there is nothing we can do. I'm sorry, Imbros. You're just going to have to be a little bit upset. Torona over here. Probably quite a rich settlement. It is. So, let's go for the Agora. That's going to cost us all our money, but it's a decent investment. I'm going to take a few turns to build as well. So, let's press the end turn for the first time, guys, in today's episode. Well, there goes this settlement. Nothing we can do about that. But it is the Seleucid turn. So let's see. Do they do anything else that's spicy? Apparently just taking that. Any more movement? Okay. They've split all of their armies up. Well done, AI. Well done. Well, finally we get offered an alliance. But it is the dying oh, Boeotians. We've got a hundred reputation now as well. But... The dying Boeotians will take it for now because we are going to go to war with their enemies, the Antigonids. And it might help our relations with the Adrissians a little bit. A little bit. And there we go. The Adrissians have attacked us. Fantastic. <laughs> well, we do need another guy. So let's take this guy in here. This guy's 50 and he's got no management. So we'll probably just keep him in there for now. Dion has now expanded, so let's cue that in before I forget about it. Abdera has been taken, and the Adrissians, that's an interesting army, I've got to say. <laughs> what, what is that army? I think we have the kryptonite to that army, which is called Phalangites. 
Kythera is incredibly upset. We know the reason for that because we left it like that. Same as Githion. So let's do that. Burger is now upset, probably because of the fact that it hasn't upgraded. Same with Imbros, although Imbros is just generally just upset. We're just going to have to leave that for now. Um, so yeah, that's fine. Anything else that's interesting in here? Ifestionas has an epidemic of swamp fever. Ah, well, that's not ideal. Luckily for us, though, where are our spies? We've got a spy. Let's bring him back over here. Look at the Seleucids. Like, what are they doing? They've just split all of their armies up. What idiots, man. <laughs> Leprion, we got second level recruitment. That's actually excellent. Let's just go straight in for level three. Ellis and Messene both got uh, shipwrights, which is awesome. So that should really pump up. Ellis is actually a very rich city, but that should really pump up their value. We're going to head back to Ambrakia for a seriously needed bit of retraining. So let's pop those guys in there. And let's also make sure that we're doing this cleverly rather than stupidly. And queuing up the right amount of retraining for each person. wonder whether we can get two out of this. Yes. No. Ah, oh, dickhead. Well, my maths was terrible there. <laughs> oh, God. Awful maths. Oh, well, we lost a guy. But that's fine. That doesn't mean we can retrain him. We're also just replacing him straight away next turn. That's no problem then. Already with two experience from Ambrakia too, which is excellent. So let's have a look at this army and where we want to send it. We've got plenty of Ambrakios. Do we have enough Thessalians? We've got two Thessalians ready. So let's pop those guys in. We've got another Athamanian, which we want. Do we have any more Athamanians in here? No, but we do have more Ambrakios. So let's sort them out. We're going to have two or three more Thessalians. One, one more Athamanian, one more Thessalian. And then we need a general. So two more, a general. So we need four more troops. So, one more Athamanian as well. Three more troops. So, we need three more Ambrakiotes. Well, that can be easily arranged. Let's go with them. I think also these two might be quite useful. So, we'll send both of them. We do need a general still for that army though. And we don't really have any decent generals. What did these guys... Oh, yeah. They attack... Like I said, I'm not bothered about Philippopolis. That's not really much of a concern, this land up here. Like, it's, it's poor... It's weak. This land is good because it has mines. But pretty much all of their army is, is, is lancers. <laughs> what a terrible, terrible army composition you've gone for there, my friends. These guys, let's get them across to there. We're still building up our recruitment infrastructure up here so we can build uh, proper Thracian troopers. And we're not that far away from being able to build a Thracian army, which will be insane, my friends, when we get round to it. Although, I'm thinking we could probably beat both of these armies if we're good enough. Do we think we're hard enough with big Archilochus over here? Bright Magnetic Vigorous. He is green, so that's minus one morale. And he's also rationing. He gets one morale from being an unlucky leader. And he has an intelligent wife. Very good. So, he's actually neutral on morale. So, he's, he's zero. Which is better than ne negative, my friends. <laughs> so, let's go and have a look at this army. Silesian pirates once again. Cretan hoplites, which are insanely good. Carrion infantry. So, I think this was the army that was sieging down Tirada. Really doesn't look that difficult to beat. So let's get into... That's famous last words, isn't it? <laughs> let's get into the fight there, guys. Let's see if we can mop up this army rather quickly against Philotas the Wrathful. Time to die, Mr. Philotas.
So here we are, guys. Looks like they've not actually set up on top of the hill for once, which is actually quite interesting. We're just going to march slowly. We don't need to go fast. We've also got a very compact formation, my friends. Very compact indeed. I'm going to take all these guys off guard mode. Um, so we are off guard mode so that we can do our attack orders. Um, and we don't really need a wide formation because we have the advantage of the flank with our crazy amount of cav over here. Like our fantastic Thessalian cavalry are going to be insanely good. So we really don't need to worry about it at all. In fact, now that they are moving, let us come up here and try and get set up before they can come and engage us. Because I don't want to take the engagement secondarily, Lily. I want to engage them my... Uh, yeah, I want to I engage them on my terms, of course. Let's also make sure all of these guys are off fire... Uh, sorry, skirmish mode. And yeah, I don't think this is going to be too bad, my friends. Too bad. But we shall see. Philotas the Wrathful is over there. Once we've killed him, you know, they've not got any, like, high-value, high-morale units in there, apart from maybe the carrion heavy infantry. So I really don't think this is going to be much of an issue. So let's keep on marching towards them. Let's see if we can force them to engage us with a few well-timed javi shots. Here we go, 304 oi. Let's get going. I'd be nice when we get the uh, Molossian Agama to deal with all that sort of shaz. Shaz? What the hell? <laughs> to deal with that shiz. Let's get the phalanx mode in now, boys. There we go. And let's see if we can fire some javis. Come on, boys, and try and force them into engaging us. There we go. The Pisidian javelin men are getting absolutely ruined. But can we march a little bit further forward? Probably quite nicely, in fact. And also get these guys further forward so they're doing a bit more damage. But here we go. The Seleucid dogs will die, my friends. Time for them to die. Time for them to face an Epirote phalanx. <laughs> That's Philotas dead. He really was a rash man, it seems, running headfirst into a phalanx. But yes, what an imbecile. Let's uh, try and get some attack orders off here. They do have this Prodromoy coming in for the charge. But uh, let's just protect our flank that way. You guys keep coming forward. We'll set, put attack orders on all of these guys so they start shredding. But look at that. Oh, they've also got uh, oh, a late general's bodyguard that's actually not a, uh, a general, which is obviously interesting. Are they withdrawing already? Yes, they are, right? Come on, Cav. Time to go then. Time to go, Cav. Let's go. Let's get you up there. They've already just basically broken. <laughs> right, phalanx, phalanx guys, let's get let's get set up. Uh, and all you guys have used all your ammo. So have the Thurio 4, even though you've not even engaged in the fight. Come on, Cav. Time to go. Time to go. Well, what I'm going to try and do, you guys need to get them. You guys need to get them. And then the rest of you, I want you to just charge. Let's go. Charge into the Thurio 4, Roy. General into the Thorakitai, which is a very good unit, but rally. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, boys. And how are we doing against their phalanxes? Pretty darn good, it seems. They're already broken. Apparently, Philotas was so wrathful and, uh, you know, such a part of their army that, yes, he has uh, caused them to uh, fully get out, uh, fully route as soon as he died <laughs> so let's go kill the galatian swordsman right you guys like all we need to do now is chase them down let's see if we can kill them all well i don't think you can get that much better than that guy 97 losses 1100 killed that should be enough both of their generals were killed in the end too what a glorious little victory. The Thessalian Cavalry doing well. One Thessalian Cavalry, though, did run from the fight when they were chasing down some Cretan hoplites. I don't know why, but apparently the Cretans are too strong even for the Thessalians. So, oh well, but a glorious victory nonetheless, my friends. Well, Archilochus has started off his campaigning life very, very well, hasn't he, my friends? Very good indeed. I'm very proud of him. What a glorious little boyo. I wonder whether it's worth going for Alois here and then trying to go after Eptaper. 
Will it be... Will we have enough troops? That is the question. Let's go and have a look at that army. I mean, that army is, is just... I, I, I don't even know what to say about that army, to be honest. It's going to be incredibly annoying to fight. They do have some more generals bodyguard. Again, two generals in there as well. Right, Archilo Archilocus. Are you still green, though? No, you are blooded now. Uh, anything else that you gained from that battle? No. It says unlucky leader, but... Enemy camp captured, plus one influence. Are they still rationing? No, well supplied now because we captured their camp. Fantastic. Well, let's go for Alois. This looks like it's going to be a bit more of a difficult fight. But let's get into the fight. Again, guys, very similar formation to what we did last time. In fact, pretty much exactly the same. We're going to off camber to the right slightly just to try and make sure that this right-hand flank doesn't get, you know, supremacy over us and flank our phalanx. Because we know what happens when phalanxes get flanked, guys. History has taught us that they die very, very quickly. So, uh, yes. Let's keep on coming forward, though. Let's see what we can do when we get in here nice and tasty and close. They do have men hidden in the grass and the trees over here. We'll get our phalanx down now, though. And let's go for the engage. No, we don't go for that attack. We're going forward. There we go. You guys get up here. You guys get up here too. And we're going to get these guys right up close to the front line once again so they can fire into the enemy. Maybe help engage them here. But here we go. Engaging on the front line. You guys are going to fight them. You guys are going to fight them. Thurio Fora, you're going to fight that Asian Spearman. They should be no problem for you whatsoever because they are a absolutely useless unit to be honest 304 we're gonna get you around here to fight the silesian pirates who are also pretty darn trash in general we're also gonna get these guys what's that silesian pirates you say <laughs> have you ever heard of the thessalians my friend have you ever heard of them it's not the greatest charge it's an awful charge actually but there we go there's a proper charge from the back but yeah, that sh we should be able to shred these guys pretty quickly. There goes the uh, Thurio Foro. What do we have over here, though? More Silesians. Okay, that's their general charging into the phalanx again. Okay, there we go. All the Celts are running now. That's what you get when you get Celtic mercenaries. We've seen that happen to ourselves. You guys fight them. You guys... I don't know what really to do with you. You're kind of just stuck in the middle here. Right. Thessalians, time to get around this way. Where's my other Thessalians? Right, let's charge those Silesian pirates. There we go. Those guys are broken. And again, I think we're just going to have to charge and then chase. Charge and chase once again. Come on, this has got to be a good charge. There we go. Broken. Right, charge and chase. Charge and chase, boys. Charge and chase, boys. Smile and wave, boys. Charge and chase, boys. Right. I keep, I keep looking at the uh, Seleucid troops and thinking that they are mine because <laughs> we paid the Seleucids for so long. Right, you guys can get up here. You guys need to get past all of these boys. We'll use the other Thessalians to actually fight. You guys can go chase down the enemy. Confident now that we are going to win this. So probably not needed. What is that? That's just a Zista 4 unit. You guys get there, but we'll rally. Rally the men. There we go. Fantastic. You guys fight them. That was a good charge, boys. Good charge. Right then, what do we have here? You guys need to get your phalanx down and attack them. You guys fight them. You guys get your phalanx down. And what are we what are we worrying about here? Not much. Not much, it seems. These Celts, though, they do seem to keep coming back from the fighting. So you guys get after them. You guys can fight, kill all these Silesians. Long way from home, boys. Long way from home, aren't you? All of these guys. One of you there. One of you there. And one of you there. And it's just, once again, just an absolute murder fest. Not much else to really say. <laughs> Who are you fighting? Oh, more Silesian pirates. Fight them, then. And, in fact, we should get these guys in on the action. You guys chase down the enemy, because you're fast. You are fast. Right, you guys go chase them. You guys chase them. 
And yeah, we should be good. 304, are you even enjoying it? Getting in on the action for the boys. Let's go. How far to the edge of the map? Not that far, so we do need to be careful. There we go. Let's continue, and we'll chase all of this army down once again. Well, guys, what can you even say? I think a new hero is rising among our ranks. Archilochus. We have for so long relied on the triumphs of, uh, of Alexander, Pyrrhos, and Iphestionas. But a new hero seems to have arisen, my friends. Look at that from the Umbrakios. 142. Wow. Glorious, glorious, glorious Archilochus, my friends. What a great man. What a fantastic commander. Let's keep him going. Let's get him very high and hopefully... I'm not going to kill him very soon. We'll see. And unfortunately, glorious Archilochus can't go much further. But he can move towards Eptaper of the Maidy. So we are going to do that. He could get attacked by another Adrissian army. But judging by those guys... Um, judging by the Adrissian army composition, I don't think that's going to be too scary. I mean, look at that. Like, <laughs> what are they building, man? They are building the wrong units. <laughs> silly, silly guys. I also don't want to take this Siege of Philippoi right now, especially with this big army over there. I'd rather draw this into here to fight Iphestionas, and then Iphestionas can take them both out at once. Whether they do that or not is a different question, but a glorious, glorious... Uh, turn of events from Archilochus. What a man. What a glorious little commander. Right. Well, let's get a 304 into Githian. Let's get these two onto there. Let's drop them off there. And let's get them in there. And plenty happy now. Plenty happy. Let's get our nice boats on the docks there too. And yeah, I said we were waiting for the Antigonids. They have been spying on us. So maybe they're going to be the ones to bring the pain first, but we shall see. We shall see. Right. Pharsalos, let's keep upgrading this place. Let's go with another Temple of Dioscuri. We could either go for a Blacksmith or a Temple of Dioscuri. I think that extra experience is just so good that we might as well take it. Very good. We are building in a lot of places now, which is awesome. Dasaretta Polis, let's get that in there. Imbros, unfortunately, not much we can really do there. Hiskana, let's go for the sewers. Stimbara, let's go for that market. Markets are nice and cheap. Give you some nice free money. Um, let's go for the Temple of Aphrodite at Heraclea Lincestis. Seen it is, as it is a minor city, if I can speak. Speech? Oh my god, no! <laughs> Speaking is hard for me today, guys. Zakynthos, let's go for... And not much that's really that worth it here. I mean, public baths is decent, but is it worth it? I have no idea. Nysos, let's go for the public baths. Scoopy over here has got that too. Cirrus, let's go at... Hmm, Cirrus, you're kind of pointless. I mean, we'll go for the paved roads there. Cassandrea as well. Probably worth the paved roads because it's a very rich settlement. Let's see whether it is worth it. I mean, 100. It's going to be 50 turns before it pays itself back. But, you know, 50 turns is better than 100. <laughs> and I think next turn is when most of these troops are all done. Are we training at Pella? We are not. So we will do that next turn once all of these have synced up. Fantastic. Right then, let's end the turn. Let's see if the Seleucids really do want to fight us again. So it looks like the Seleucids have backed off somewhat, which is pretty darn good, let's be honest. Because <laughs> we didn't really want to fight them again if they brought all of those goddamn armies back. But uh, let's, uh, let's join all these guys together. And then we just need three more of these boys. So let's get in there. Let's get you in there too. And now we just need a general. <laughs> um... Let's have a look. We've got this guy here. He doesn't... He's uncharismatic, but he is vigorous. Um, green. And he's in winter. Um, well, he's not ideal, is he? Let's be honest. 
Do we have anyone else coming of age rather soon? You're 12, so a few more turns. Let's have a look. Hermias, Euenus, no. Hmm. Lysippos over here with Ducalos. He's 15, so he might come of, to come of age next turn, which would be good. No one else on that list there. You're dead. <laughs> um, and yeah, 14, that's okay. Alketas, good name, good name. Do like the old Alketases. And there we go. That's that's it. So we do have one guy who's 15. Whether they come of age soon, though, it could be another four turns before they come of age. They could just have turned 15. So is there anyone in here that has any good, like, command talent? Like Parmenion, for example. He's slow, but he's charismatic and spiritless, so no thank you. What about Coerilos? I don't think so. Like, none of these guys are really going to be worth it. How about Aristobulos? Good name. Uninteresting, uncharismatic. So, yeah, no, definitely not. You, Basalios, good name. You are spiritless, though, which is not good. He is hardened, so he has fought a battle. Immoral. Hmm, likes a drink. So he isn't great for management either. Do you know what? We're going to wait one more turn, because this they don't really have much movement anyway. And if no one comes of age... Then we will just, you know, um, use that guy, whatever he's called. I forgot him already. 45% <laughs> in Marina. That's not good. I really don't want to lose that there. We've got more people coming of age. Helenos has a drinking companion. What a boy. Um, great. Right. Tricker actually upgraded. That's fantastic. So... Well, let's have a look. 1,300 here. Not exactly fantastic, but let's get that and Shrine of Aphrodite in there. Lots of shrines. Not that much of interest. Let's just check up at Stoby. We're still building. Same with Bylazora. Same with Scoopy. Let's also try to make sure, yeah, we're getting the Shrine to Dioscuri up here. Good. Let's also see what we're building down in this region. Roads there. Blacksmith there. Good. So that's actually fantastic. We've got that battle to do. We've also got that siege. But like I say, we don't really want to take that siege. I want to kind of draw the Seleucids back. But... Hmm. Looks like a spy died, actually. I know he's there. The Seleucids are ripe for the taking here. If we can take these three settlements, these four settlements, and potentially... They've, they've pushed across the river. That's the problem here. I don't want to get to war with the Ptolemies as well. Like, that's the problem. Like, <laughs> going to war with the Ptolemies is not going to be a great uh, a great thing for us. Let's uh, pop out of here. Well, we were hoping to get this guy. So let's get this guy with Alexander the Cruel. It's not a great name for him, really, is it? Because I don't think he's been particularly cruel. I think he's been a decent commander this whole time. And a great leader of us, of course. Let's see what we can build in Ambraki then. Anything of interest? An archery range. Is there anything in our thing that won't allow us to get it unless we get an archery range? I don't think so. Fourth tier stables. Yeah, ideally we just need growth here. So, do we get the grain imports then? That's extra growth. I think so. I think so. It's 10,000, which is very expensive. But yeah, a lot of actual good cities got done then. So let's go for the academy here. Let's keep on getting our generals better at management. And what do we want to do in Korkira? Not that much that's that worth it. So let's leave that. I just want to get, you know, buildings that are more worth it in general than anything else. So like over here, for example, minus half a percent growth. So let's get the crop rotation. Kikiros, again, probably not worth that much. Um, get some extra law from the walls, but that's not really necessary. Oricon as well needs those grain imports to keep growing. Like I say, it's very hard to balance the growth in, in these terrible areas. Um, Bakiria, let's get that shrine to Aphrodite. Acanthos over here. Hmm... Do we have... Let's just get the Shrine to Dionysus for now. Imbros, like I say, don't really care. 
Dardanion, Forikon. No, that's fine. Let's leave all those for now. And Heraclea Sintike. Let's get those public baths. Get that extra population growth. Same thing over here. Now, Pactos. Let's go for those roads because it's a relatively rich settlement. Amphipolis over this way, which is a large city. It's actually a fantastic city. So let's also get the roads there. I am Farina. Let's go for the public baths. And then we've only got 13,000 left. So let's leave that because we are going to be recruiting. What are we going to get at Impella, though? Hmm, probably Ambrakiotes. Let's keep going with more Thessalians down in this region. Because we can... We can uh, Train Ambrachiotes relatively quickly now. Let's go for some more Ambrachiotes there. Retrain those and get more Ambrachiotes there. And that was actually perfect amount of money to spend. The Antigonids are sizing us up for an attack. But let's go and take out Ep Taper over here. I don't think this is going to be as easy as it looks. Because all of those Hippocontisti are going to be incredibly annoying to fight. They do also have some Thracian Nobles. But apart from that, we got Thracian archers. So let's get into this. It looks easy, but against that much cav, you know, if this was me versus this army, I'd fancy myself to maybe scrape a victory. So again, I don't think it's going to be as easy as it looks. But, you know, Archilochus is on a roll, isn't he, my friends? The new hero of our nation, and he's only 16. So let's keep that roll moving. So we've gone for an even more compact formation here. The idea being with this formation that if they want to try and flank us, they're going to have to fight Phalangites and Thuriophoroi here. So both spearmen. So if they do try and flank us, then it's going to be pain for them. But looks like they may be trying to withdraw. So let's, uh, let's come up this way. We're also just going to walk... We don't want to be exhausted, especially against cavalry guys. That's when mass routes happen. And we've already seen that a couple of times in this series, haven't we, guys? And they're withdrawing the pussios. Thought that might happen. Goodbye, cavalry army. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, there's only one thing that I can conclude from such cowardice from the uh, Adrissians. Is the fact that Archilochus is such a beast now that... Uh, Everyone is scared of him. I mean, it's a nice thought to think of, isn't it, really? But, uh, yeah, I think Archilochus' time now, now he's pushed them back. They're probably going to come back, but that's bought us some time to go after the Seleucids down here and really put the pressure on them to retake all and retake all of these areas um, and, you know, try and push them back. Well, it's been a fun episode, hasn't it, guys? I'm sorry if some of my gameplay was maybe a little bit sloppier than normal, but I am getting used to a slightly different setup. My, uh, my monitor's now on the left rather than the right, and my recording monitor's on the other side. <laughs> and it, it's, it, feels, it felt really weird at the start, but I'm used to it now. Uh, but yeah, when we started playing, I was like, Jesus Christ, I was looking the wrong way every time, <laughs> uh, which is funny. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. And of course, I will see you all again on the next video.